So hi, my name is Q and I make stuff. Welcome to my workroom. In this video, I'm gonna be working on a customized kitter that came through my Etsy shop and he was really special and really cute. Our kitty is named Michelangelo. And he's so adorable. He has a dad mustache and a real squishy tummy. And I'm really excited to show you kind of my process and how I go about making a kitty. It's super easy. And so this isn't really a tutorial. It's more of a process blog. Um, just to show you like the, sort of the steps. There's definitely a couple big steps that are left out. So let's jump right on into it. Enjoy. And I want to make sure all these parts fit accordingly so this is on a fold so that goes over here so clearly i don't have enough room so i'm gonna kind of nudge my little buddy over my fabric and maybe maybe that did it and the way i like to fit these guys on here is to give myself enough room so i'm gonna cleared my toe stuff i'm gonna Put my opening at the very t very tippy top and i want to make sure i have room for my side of my head my side of my face have room to sew around here um this is another piece this is the forehead that goes there and then my ears and if i can squeak my ears out of the there we go. So that, that'll work. I also need to have room for my tail. And because the tail is <clears throat> wider on this end and the feet, and I want to make sure I have room to go around and have seam allowance on either side. Normally this would fit really just fine, but I've got this funny cut down here. So that looks like that's going to work. And what I'll do is I'll just schnick off, slice off my end and then turn it sideways so I've got room to work. sew around this, but cut out this.
we're ready to go over to the sewing machine. Did I just break my pin, my needle? Nope. Sound like something happened there. Okay. Oop. So here's where having the top of this marked is necessary. So I'm gonna switch out my presser foot. Um, I thought I would try using that I don't think it's the right, right thing for this particular fleece some other fleece gets really draggy and sticks underneath the uh, presser foot but here so turn off my auto back tack and I'm going to follow along using the edge of my presser foot I'm gonna do that on
And here, like, if it were funky in the ears or something, then I'd, you know, I've got a pretty good chance to like pull it apart. But the spacing on the ears is looking really good. So soon I'll get eyes on there, trim up, trim up some of these threads. Yeah, okay. like to kind of parse it out, kind of plan it a little bit, but I'm planning the legs, the tail, the arms. So I'll t get a bundle 
and have two equal parts ish equal ish right somewhere in there and so i know this is going to be where i'm going to start for one leg and this is where i'll start you know for the other leg so they have about the amount of same amount of stuff in them i am not going to like weigh it or anything this is so minimal that it would be really difficult to weigh so i'm going to set these aside and then i'll take the kind of some smaller bits it's going to compress down again i'm going to tear it in half so i have equal portions and here i'm going to stuff it into the toes so i'm going to use a tool some hemostats to help stuff it in there just makes it a little easier so equal portions in there do a little more so a piece tear it in half equal bits
I just realized I didn't show you the finishing touches of our buddy here. So this particular cat has got a bit of a dad mustache. He has lighter ear curtains. That's what those little fuzzy things on the inside of your ears are called. And he has a, had a really broad, extra soft light patch on his belly. So I have added those things from fabric that I had um, purchased for making other tabby cats. But this one I had a bit of a pattern involved that I was able to cut out and sew down. I think it's interesting and soft and it is very, very soft. This is like a luxe polar fleece. And then on the back, I added toe beans to all of his paws. And these are just felt with fabric glue. And I always stitch um, <laughs> paw shape in there. And I learned that from Pine Needle Tea. She makes little dolls that are really super cute. And she's also on YouTube. So, ear curtains, dad mustache, very softy belly. This is what he looks like. And the cat that this is made for, his name is Michelangelo. And I'm not sure if he's among the living still or if he's crossed over the rainbow bridge, but I know that when I make things, kitties that look like other kitties <laughs> I um, I'm assuming that they've crossed over and that I make them with a lot of love so this guy will get a full once over with a lint roller so that he's nice and fresh and clean when he arrives at his new house so this he also has a belly button everybody gets a belly button So here's Michelangelo. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. One last thing. I said I was gonna make another kitty with the scraps from that last one. And here it is. So same treatment, but I made it, a, this is a size that I refer to as the stubular. The stubular kitty, <laughs> like a munchkin. And again, I use some of the same stuff like, I should have put the ears on Michelangelo like this, but it was an, like an afterthought. I changed the nose panel, put in some like eye stuff, just as an experiment to see how it would go. And again, using the pattern that was in the fabric, cut out a chest piece there, belly button. And again, every toe beans. And... The toe beans, uh, I changed the size of the feet and so the toe beans are kind of a new experiment <laughs> with these new sizes. They seem kind of weirdly big, but it's super cute. I think it's a, will be just the right size for a little kid. <laughs> My. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Michelangelo come together and like and subscribe and, or don't whatever um see you next time bye nice huh it's just like whatever I give up I'm just gonna have to do it and you'll hear some horns and that's life right I don't know how people on the YouTubes live in the most quiet places in the world. Like, it's ridiculous. Maybe it stopped. Okay.